a blessed and pleasant good afternoon moms and dads boys and girls welcome to another edition of children's bible minutes brought to you by the anglican diocese of belize graffi muki and i are excited to be with you this wonderful friday afternoon it's a warm and lovely day here in dangriga there is hardly any wind blowing but the sea is calm and nice and flat and we think it's a good day for a swim what do you guys think well i could swim i don't know about you But yeah, anyway, we are finalizing our look on sin and grace today. We have been looking at sin and grace out of our 10 facts that every child in an Anglican school should know. We are looking at sin and grace and we had talked a little bit about sin and grace. We said that sin was everything that separates us from the love of God and that even though all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, the grace of God, which is a free gift, draws us back. Now, how do we get God's grace? We get God's grace when we confess our sins. And today we are looking at our Bible reading and our Bible reading is from 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 through to 10. You'll remember that? 1 John 1, 5 to 10. Can you say that? 1 John 1, 5 to 10. And you know what it says? It talks about God being the light. And it talks about the fact that if we say we have no sin, this is verse 8 and 9. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. However, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and God is just. And he will forgive us our sins and cleanse us in all, from all unrighteousness. And when we say this, you know those words. Those words, you would have heard it in your confession at church during communion service. Mm-hmm. When we do our act of penitence, when we make our confession, we say these words to remind ourselves that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But you know what? I have a friend. You remember Miss Analia? Miss Analia comes and does service with us sometimes here on Children's Bible Minute. She does this show with us. Miss Analia is going to read for us. Yes, she is. Miss Analia is going to read for us the reading from 1 John 1, 8 So, no, it's not from it. It is 1 John 1, 5 to 10. Let's have a listen. 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 to 10. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. The word of the Lord. I'm not sure what happened, why the words didn't show up until the end and why it was so small. Sometimes these computer things can create problems for us, but we're not going to worry about that. The point is we heard Miss Analia read for us 1 John 1, 5 through to 10. And you know what? The first half is talking about walking in the light. The first half says that we have heard this and we are proclaiming it to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness. And that's the truth. God is light and he is good and he is all things positive. With him, there is no darkness. So no evil can exist where the light of God is. Yes. And if we lie and we don't practice truth, it means we are not walking in the light of God. To practice truth means to walk in God's light and to lie means to walk in darkness. And sin and grace is all about that. Sin is the darkness and grace is the light of the love of God that forgives us of our sins. And I love what 8 and 9, verse 8 and 9 of 1 John 1 tells us. It says, if we sin, we deceive ourselves. It means we are lying to ourselves, which is already a sin. Yes? And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and God is just, and he will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's the thing. We have to be bold enough to admit that we have sinned in order to ask for God's forgiveness. Now, Graffy and Muki's friend, Douglas, is here to tell us about a time when he did something wrong and one of his friends tried to convince him to not tell the truth. But thankfully, Douglas did tell the truth because to confess our sins means we have to own up to it 
and then we have an opportunity for forgiveness. Let's hear what Douglas has to say. If you've sinned, don't try to lie about it. Just ask God for forgiveness. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you about how God will always forgive us. I think it's important to recognize that we sin, right? We all mess up. Even Christians mess up. The Bible says that if you believe that you are without sin, you deceive yourself. You're mistaken. But there are some people out there who try to just cover up their sin, and that just leads to more sin. You know, this one time my friend came over and we were playing catch in the backyard. We had these baseball gloves and we had a baseball and we were tossing it back and forth. And we were trying to see how far away from each other we could get and still be able to catch the ball. And we were getting pretty good at it. And, and we got to the point where we were really, really far away in my backyard. And I threw the ball really hard to my friend and he missed it. Well, I shouldn't say he missed it because it was a bad throw on my part. But I threw it uh, over his head and it hit my mom's car right on the window. And it totally busted the window. It wasn't like, it wasn't totally shattered, but it was a big old spiderweb crack on it. Super busted. And when we saw what happened, my friend turned to me and he was like, nothing happened. And I was like, what? He was like, we did not see this. This did not happen. Got it? And I was like, well, no, I mean, it, it obviously did happen, man. We, we got to go tell my mom. And he was like, no, Douglas, she's going to kill us. You busted her window. And I was like, no, I, I got I to gotta go tell my mom. And he was like, fine, well, I'm out of here. And he just he just left. And so I went. And I told my mom, and she was upset, you know, because she and my dad had to pay for a new window. But in the end, it was okay. She was glad I went to her and told her what happened. And that's the same with us and God. You know, there are some people who, when they do something wrong, their first thought is, oh, man, my parents are going to be so mad. And then there are other people, when they do something wrong, and, and their first thought is, oh, man, I need to call my parents because they can help. And God, our Heavenly Father, is the kind of parent that we should call when we're in trouble. If we do something wrong, we shouldn't go hiding, trying to, to hide from God the fact that we did something wrong, because first of all, you can't hide from God. You know, Adam and Eve, when they first sinned, they, they, they went and they, they tried to hide from God, and that did not work. Or Jonah, he tried to hide from God. That didn't work. God sees everything. He knows everything. So hiding from him is, is a bad idea, and certainly lying to him is a bad idea. But you know what? Not only does God know everything, and see everything. God loves us. Our Heavenly Father loves us so, so much. You know, in the Bible it says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we ask God for forgiveness, He will forgive us. You know, God has really blessed my family, but we're not, like, rich, right? So, so when I busted that window in my in my mom's car, it wasn't like nothing, right? Like that was a big deal. My parents did have to pay for that. And it's the same with us and God. It's not like when we sin, it's nothing. I'm not saying it's okay to sin, but God has taken care of it. You know, my parents had to pay a lot of money to fix the window that I had broken. But God paid for your sins with the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, which is a very big deal. So yeah, sin is wrong. It's bad. It is a big deal. But God wants us to confess our sins to him. Pretending that we didn't do anything wrong is very bad. And it can be really hard to, to confess our sins, to, to apologize when we've done something wrong. But that's what we're supposed to do. And it doesn't matter how bad the thing is, God will always forgive us. You know, in the Bible, the people that Jesus got the most mad at were not the people who had done the worst things. The people that he got the most mad at were the people who thought they had done nothing wrong or pretended that they had done nothing wrong. You know, deep down inside, we always know when we've done something that we shouldn't do. And the people that Jesus was most mad at were the people who were best at pretending that they never did anything wrong. So my challenge to you guys today is that if you do something wrong, don't, don't be afraid of God. You know, don't, don't say, oh man, God's gonna, God's gonna mess me up because I sinned. I better try to cover this up. Instead, I want you to confess your sins to God. And if you've sinned against someone else, you should apologize to them too. It doesn't matter what you've done. God will always forgive you. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. 
Douglas, we want to thank you. And yes, we liked that video indeed. Thank you for allowing us to be able to use it. And there you have it, boys and girls. Douglas is absolutely right. We will all sin, but we also have access to God's grace. And when we confess our sins, it's an opportunity for us to tell God, God, you know what? We are sorry we did wrong. We need your grace and we need your help to guide us in this life. And he's also very right, boys and girls. We could try to hide from people around us, but God knows our thoughts. He sees the secrets in our hearts. So there is nothing we can do, whether good or bad, that we could hide from God. Nothing. Which means that if we do something wrong, if we sin and we don't confess it to God, he already knows we did the wrong, you know. He is just waiting for us to say we are sorry. Confess the sin in order to receive his grace. In our church, we have a prayer that we say to confess our sins. And for our prayer today, before we go to our final song, and our final song is a beautiful one on the Bible reading from 1 John chapter um, 1, verse 8 to 9. But before we get into that, today for our prayer, we would like to use for our prayer the confession that we say in church. Yes? Do you mind? All right, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Together, let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, in word, and in deed, in what we have done and in what we have left undone. God, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not even loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And you know what? When we pray that prayer, God hears our confession and he forgives us our sins. When we're in church, the priest, me, or your priest in your church, when we're in church, the priest will then pronounce something called an absolution. And an absolution is a formal release from sin. And we believe that God gives priests and ministers authority to forgive sins on his behalf outwardly. And when you make that confession, God will, the priest will say something like this. Almighty God, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sin, confirm you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so when you confess, the forgiveness then can begin. Now, forgiveness is important. It comes from God, yes? And while God forgives, we have to be willing to forgive others and forgive ourselves, knowing that God has forgiven us too. That's it, boys and girls. That concludes our look at sin and grace. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. However, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and God is just. And he will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We don't ask for forgiveness in order to keep on sinning. We ask for forgiveness that we could be guided by God's grace. To not go back into sin. We're going to close off with this Bible song for today. Entitled, If We Confess. And it is based on 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. And it's from Seed Family Worship. Of course, we have linked their YouTube channel. And if you want to officially buy worship song from them, we have also included their website as well. We hope, boys and girls, that this week has given you a deeper and better understanding of what sin is but also a deeper and better understanding of how the grace of God helps us to overcome sin. We had fun with you today here on Children Bible Minutes. We pray you will have a blessed and beautiful weekend, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday at 4 p.m. Now, we know that you are on vacation. Please, if you don't have to go out, stay home. If you're going to go out, wear your mask, practice your physical distancing, and sanitize often. Above all, don't forget that God loves you and wants to shower, shower you with his grace. And we love you too. Until next time, take care. God bless. Bye for now.
truth is not, the truth is not in us. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not, the truth is not in us. to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not, the truth is not in us. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not, the truth is not in us. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Celebrate it. Yes. Yeah. 